When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. Norwegian Institute for Air Research on April the 4th model showed a steady plume across the ocean, uh, across North America, and then across the Atlantic and Europe. That was April the 4th. And this is May 11th, 2011, one month later. The plume is still there, still stretching all the way across the Pacific, North America, Atlantic, and everywhere else. And it's only based upon a single element or a couple. It's not based on, on the meltdown, the melt-throughs, the melt-out of the reactors that were on the roof. And TEPCO came out a week ago, a minute, they covered all of that up. And so it's time to have a conversation about this. It never stopped coming out. It still looks like that. And the effects might take a decade or so to show up in the human population because we're so far up the food chain. But the Pacific Ocean is, is playing out an extinction event. And it's important to remember, it's uranium cores, m melted uranium cores, not melted cesium cores, not melted iodine cores, not melted the other um, manifestations of the chain reaction. We put uranium in it. And so no one bothers talking about the uranium, but to show you purple, which is potassium-40, and potassium-40 is natural. It wouldn't come from chain reaction. And so they put those, those connotations in there because subconsciously you learned that in school years ago. And you don't, have, and so it, that's how this works against you. But now they're building an ice wall instead of a real wall because the government will pay for the ice wall because it's experimental where TEPCO shareholders would have to pay for the real wall and solve the problem. Not that we can solve that problem. The whole area becomes liquefaction. And then everything becomes more trouble. The sites blew up. The reactors blew up. They're completely destroyed, and TEPCO came out and admit that a few days ago, finally, after five years. So the entire Pacific Ocean was contaminated just from the fallout. But we still got to stop the stuff that's running down the mountains and into the facility with the ice wall. That, that shouldn't exist. It should be a real wall, and a couple of them. For the same price. It's a half a billion dollars almost spent on the ice wall already. With the yeah. important update, these are the counts per minute that are in my house, about 32 counts per minute. So I haven't checked our AC air filter in the past few months, and that's my air filter right there. And about two months ago, we had, we did have high radiation readings in the Metro Miami area. Six hundred counts per minute were reported. Who knows what Geiger counter that was, however, this is a inspector plus. And as you can see, it's definitely higher than the background in my house, which was at around 28 to 30 counts. So we're about five times above, almost six times above the radiation in the house. So what is this telling us definitely that there's radiation in our air just another wake-up call you need to be changing out these ac air filters constantly i would get the highest grades available make sure you get the smallest microns because uh definitely this is in our house radiation in the house I don't have a basement. And this filter is probably about two months old. I'm just going to move away from that filter. Radioactive AC filter. So, just another reminder you want to get HEPA air filtration in your house. I recommend every bedroom should have a HEPA air filter because if your air filter is not catching it, maybe your lungs are, and then your lungs become a filter. And with radioactive particles, who knows what kind of particles these are? 
don't think it's just radon here, guys. I think it's more than that, really. So who really knows? I've been, you know, in the search for people that can do some accurate radiological testing. Clean and green, huh? Nuclear clean and green, you think so? Clean and green? You're gonna need all that green to pay for your medical bills. That's what it is. 186 counts per minute right here. 100 CPM is considered emergency to vacate the area at 100 CPM. This isn't a Mickey Mouse Geiger counter. This is a pretty accurate Geiger counter right here. So you tell me. You think this is just radon? I don't think so. Radon's a gas anyway. Subscribe to our channel so our latest clips always come directly to you. Also, check out our playlist and be sure to like and share our videos with your friends. So have fun and thank you for spreading the love. Hi, I'm Dana Durnford, nuclearproctologist.org. You can see the radiation leaving Japan is based upon just a couple of days releases from a single reactor. A few days back, they admitted there's three multi reactors. Today, scientists, marine chemists, were after saying that this had no impact. This is the Pacific Ocean. There's a straight plume right across the ocean. Question for them is, how does that not impact the ocean? How does that impact the country? And then how come a dirty bomb is so bad? And how is this not bad when it's coming from the same material? And how is that now all of a sudden like a banana or a potato chip or walking in the sunshine when in reality it killed every dog in every experiment for 70 years? So if Australia is going to take back all of its nuclear waste, maybe China can take back all of its TV sets. We imagine that in the infinite universes parallel to this one, you are still staring dumbfounded at this video.